I have put it on record that I will not represent Mackenzie whether for free or with pay. I will be in the team. I will be in the team together with the DPP to represent the children. The children who died at Shakahola. They are not friends. They are not relatives. They do not share offense. They don't do business together. So there is nothing. This is why I'm saying, when the state wants to do a public relations, what do they do? They look for the nearest person to kill and slaughter so that they can remain clean. Uh, guys, Vincent Mboya here na leo tuko katika Shanzu Lokot na I've met uh, wakili Dansta Nomari na atuja kutana milimani because all, each and every time I meet wakili in milimani. Good morning, Mr. Ni wakili. Basi wende umenilana, ona joto la toka bana wanileta yako. Pwani, niko salama lakini? Niko salama. Asante sana. Lakini nini unaitua Omari wakili? Omari sinijine ya huku Mombasa? Unajua mimi? Kama kinyonga, nikiwa pale juu na jita Omar kwa waislamu okay. nikiwa pale kwa wakristo na jita Umari. Umari. Kwa hivyo sasa zote ni zangu hizo nitafanya nini bana ni katika zile ulimbwende wa kujipendekeza <laughs> okay. Naam ndio Wakili uh, what should you expect to today hapo pande wa Shanzu Law Court? Uh, what is expected is a ruling whether the pastor will be detained for 30 days. There are the four five scenarios one the court can agree with the prosecution and detain him for 30 days. Second scenario, the court can reduce the number of days from, th uh, from 30 to whichever number the court can give. Third, the court can re deny and reject that proposal and release him uh, unconditionally. Fourth, and the final one, the court can reject and release him on bond or cash bail with some conditions. For example, he should be reporting to the police. Uh, so those are the four scenarios that we are expecting today. Okay. And uh, Wakili, outside there you said that uh, you are requesting the court also to open the church. But uh, there are some comments people are like, also his TV station was, uh, was closed. What about his TV station? Well, the, the issue about the TV station is not in this case. The, that is a matter elsewhere. We have been instructed to challenge the CCK uh, uh, Chiloba in a different court that deals with uh, stoppages of TV stations. The only issue here is for them to, to stay with him for 30 days. The different court, probably by round two, we shall have known the directions the High Court will have spoken in terms of the TV station. So far so good. Is the, are there any evidence pre presented? We have filed an affidavit to arrest the judgment and we have produced evidence denying all the allegations that were put before the court. So we expect that once we appear at two, the court will be able to listen to us because we have now authoritatively provided sufficient evidence to exonerate pastor from any wrongdoing. We have clearly stated that this is the politics of the church, competition from other churches. Remember, this is the biggest church in, in Africa with over 5 million followers who are Christians and it's a big threat to other churches. So there is a lot of pressure from the other churches that uh, uh, don't feel that uh, Pastor Ezekiel is doing too. Number two, we went to the uh, congregation and showed the whole world usage of sadaka. How every coin that is collected in form of a, a sadaka is utilized in terms of uh, the university, in terms of schools being built, in terms of school fees being paid, in terms of people living properly. So this is not going very well with other churches who have been collecting uh, sadaka and they take them for their personal, uh, personal gain. That is why pastor has set a certain standard that deserves him to be fought. Remember, pastor, we have said, went... Pastor has only gone to Mavueni within one year and one month. The place has become a model city. Envy, jealousy is going to be there. And lastly, you know, for the first time, that is the only charge that a politician has never stepped in the pulpit. The history of this country, no politician, either from Azimio or from Kenya Kwanza, has been allowed inside there. 
if you come, you not come and be given audience. So we also expect that that does not aga well, considering that this is a pastor who can attract a crowd of over 60,000 uh, people who have not been paid to come to Kasarani, but they have incurred their own costs to come. So we expect that uh, politics also will play a very critical role in the arrest and incarceration of the pastor. But that, we have completely dissociated uh, uh, pastor from uh, Mackenzie. I don't know why every other person, Pastor Ezekiel's name must be mentioned in light with uh, Mackenzie. So we are saying this, we have only produced and data log. Pastor Ezekiel and Pastor Mackenzie have met only twice in their own life. They have called each other thrice on the transaction of, of uh, the, the TV station, which never succeeded. So the questions we have asked, if everybody is saying that there is a connection between Mackenzie and Pastor, and the person claiming is the mortuary owner, why hasn't the mortuary owner been arrested? Why? Why hasn't the hospital in Cliffy that was releasing the bodies not been arrested, the people staff in that place? Why is it that the distance between uh, Pastor's Church at Mavueni and the other uh, uh, Shakahola is 200 kilometers? So really, it is political witch hunt, it is a religious witch hunt, it is competition in the sector of religion that puts pastor in this place. But we very much believe the court will not buy into that hot air. The court is going to release uh, the pastor. And if at all the court does not release the pastor, we have instructions to rush to the high court today for revision because there is no need to keep pastor inside here. And as we have told everybody, let anybody who has evidence that pastor, they took a patient there, the patient died and went to be buried at uh, Shakahola. Go to any TV station, any radio station, any police station and say, I took Omari, Omari died and Omari is my husband, Omari is my wife. Then pastor took that person to Shakahola. Not even one. Not even one. Not among the five million followers of pastor has come up to say that. So that's what we're saying. Who is the complainant? There should be by now a live complainant who is alive, the media, who you rush there and cover it. None, none, none is there. So that is what we are saying that this is political persecution. But as, as an advocate and as a Christian, I will tell everybody in the whole country that Christianity at one time was a religion in Israel. Out of persecution, it went the whole world. And the more they are persecuting Pastor Ezekiel, the more his resolve and his uh, religious his, uh, church will grow. They are actually planting seed for every Christian in this country to move away from every church that they belong and, and join Pastor Ezekiel's church. Uh, CEO wa uh, Milele Funeral Home aliendelea kueleza kwamba wewe kwa chama kimoja cha habari kwamba ni kweli kwamba they've been fed with dead bodies kutoka kwa um, kutoka kwa church ya Pastor Ezekiel. Labda upande wenu mmefanya juhudi kujua baadhi ya ya staka baadhi ama nyaraka ambazo wamekuwa kipokea nazo watu kwa sababu I believe kuna kuwa na procedure ya kupokea mile. Kweli mtu mtu akifia nje ya hospitali lazima polisi wa wa wauzishwe hawezi tolewa pale alipokufia mpaka polisi wamekuja pale sababu ile ni scene of crime polisi lazima wachukue ule mwili kama umefiwa nje not in a private hospital in a public hospital kisha post mortem ifanywe akiwemo polisi kisha familia ndio yote ule mwili ichukue kwa private hospital kwa hivyo yule anayesema alikuwa na ukota mwili milele sio hiyo mochari sio mochari ya serikali ni uongo pili ikiwa aliokota mwili basi yeye angekuwa amekamatwa ashtakiwe sababu alishiriki katika ukuficha vifo vivali 
Polisi katika ile takabadhi wameleta kotini wameleta maafa 15 yaliyowahi kufanyika katika eneo la kanisa la Pastor Ezekiel. Tume wote kuna obi. Haya maafa yote hakuna hata moja. Pastor Ezekiel na wafuasi wake wame report. Maafa haya yote yameripotiwa na familia za marehemu. Wale familia za marehemu ndiyo walipewa ule mwili, ile miili wakaida kuzika. Walikozikwa hao watu, Ezekiel na wachungaji wake hawajui. Pale katika death certificate, pale katika barrio permit, pale katika mochari entry, hakuna sahihi ama signature ya mchungaji mfuasi ama Ezekiel mwenyewe hivyo waliofika pale sio Ezekiel na ile iliripotiwa kwa mwaka mmoja watu waliofariki katika eneo kumbuka sijasema ndani ya kanisa ni eneo la kanisa kwa nini Wengi wa wale waliofariki ni watu waliokuwa wameachwa kutoka hospitali wakaambiwa sasa kansa yako imefika stage 4 nenda nyumbani wa familia yako ikuchume wale ambao wako kwenye kiwango cha kimahututi ule jamaa na bebwa na gari la basi ama taxi ama bodaboda boda, anatolewa sehemu zote za Kenya na Afrika uh, Mashariki wengi walikuwa na kufia kabla hata wajafika ukienda kwenye Nairobi hospital uende Kenyatta National Hospital uende ma hospitali wale watu wanaoletwa wameshakufa lakini wenyewe wanaamini kwamba hajafa ni wengi wanaletwa wanafika pale daktari anasema ah huyu ashakufa huyu labda milele kama milele kwenye hii kesi wamejitokeza kama uh, wa, wa shahidi kwamba ni kweli jambo ambalo walisimamia ama waliongea tu kwenye vyombo vya habari lakini hana nafasi hata hana nafasi kwenye kesi bilele ni kilomita 15 kutoka hapa tu watu wenyewe wenye muende tumetoa ushahidi ya Ezekiel muwaulize wa wapi ushahidi wao sababu sisi tumetoa ushahidi wa Ezekiel Tambarare wapi hiyo mochari wametoa ushahidi wao wapi Pengine aliyoyazungumza wakati ule sababu hajazungumza baada ya haya yametendeka alizungumza nyakati zile pengine kwa, kwa hasira na nini tunataka ule ushahidi uko pale na tumepata instructions ya kwamba iwapo kuna ushahidi wa mauaji wa kuzika watu pastor Ezekiel akutiari kushtakiwa kama kuna ushahidi uletwe wazi kwa ulimwengu mzima atakubali kile ambacho ni adhabu ya mauaji lakini kama ni kusingiziwa na vile tunasema hii ni kusingiziwa basi itakuwa ni vita sio dhidi ya pastor Ezekiel ni vita dhidi ya kanisa lake na, na ukristo unaotokea kwa hivyo kumbuka hii ni vita sio ya pastor Ezekiel ni vita dhidi ya kanisa niulize swali moja Kulikuwa bomu zilipigwa. Garisa. Garisa University. Kuna msikiti ilifungwa. Kuna sheku hata moja alikamatwa. Kuna bomu zilipigwa kikambala hapa. Kuna ule mfa, ule shek ama mhubiri wa dini ya Kiislamu alikamatwa. Kuna TV station zili, zilifungwa. Mbona kuna mawa, mbona hili linafanyika? Ubagusi kama huu haujaionekana Kenya mzima. Kanisa sio la pasta. Kanisa ni la wafuasi. Anavosema nini? Ni, wanapokaa wawili ama watatu. Hilo ni hekalu la langu la kanisa. Leo kanisa linafungwa. Hatujaiona haya mambo yakifanyika labda tumesema kwamba labda e, wahudumu ama e, wenye milele waliongea waliongea kutokana na hasira kwa nini unafikiria wanaweza kuwa na hasira mchungaji sisi tumesema mambo ya kuongea sababu mimi sijalipwa kuwakilisha milele wao ndio walisema wao ndio jukumu lao kutoa ushahidi wao 
watakuwa na mawakili wao sisi tuko mawakili wa pastor Ezekiel na hatutaweza kusema kwamba wao hawana haki ya kusema haki zao ziletwe stakabali lakini ikiwa ni mtu anazungumza pale kisha mtu akamatwe bure basi itakuwa ni hatia kuli kweli na iwapo itapatikana kwamba Ezekiel e, e, jina lake limeharibiwa basi unajua kwamba tutaenda kwenye kuangalia e, ile illegal detention malisi, malicious prosecution defamation na mambo kama yale ambayo tutafuatilia baada ya kumaliza haya yanayoendelea sasa uh, Mr Wakili my name is Nicholas Kioko uh, from where you, sta you stand are you in a position to tell us uh, how many counts has pastor been charged with and number two, uh, why didn't you guys uh, go to to represent pastor Mackenzie <laughs> first and foremost Ezekiel pastor has not been charged the only thing they are asking for is 30 days to investigate. If they get evidence, they'll charge him. If they don't get any evidence, they'll say, we close this missing application. So pastor has not been charged. Number two, why haven't we gone to represent Mackenzie? I have put it on record that I will not represent Mackenzie, whether for free or with pay. I will be in the team. I will be in the team together with the DPP to represent the children. The children who died at Shakahola. I will be part of the team to defend the witnesses. Because whatever happened in Shakahola stands contrary against to what we stand for. Whatever is happening at Pastor Ezekiel's charge is not what is happening on the other side. So that is the distinction. That one, a crime has been seen to be committed. There are bodies of children who died. No child, no grief, no dead body has been found in Pastor Ezekiel's place. So that is the reason as to why we are defending Ezekiel, but we will be acting against Mackenzie on the other side. Uh... Does that does uh, that Mackenzie issue have anything to do with Pastor Ezekiel's? Cliff can respond to that. Uh, nothing totally. Totally. The first thing you need to know is that the only way that uh, Mackenzie's uh, name is attached to Pastor Ezekiel is because at one time, at one time, Pastor Ezekiel intended to buy a radio TV station from Mackenzie. He paid the initial deposit of 500,000 for an agreed fee of 3 million shillings. At the time of wanting to conclude this transaction, other things came up where the pastor was supposed to pay another 5 million, another 3 million, and he said that this was not the agreement. So what did he do? He pulled back from that transaction and even did not collect that deposit from Mackenzie. There is no other communication thereafter. There is no communication before the issue of the TV station came in. They are not friends. They are not relatives. They do not share a fence. They don't do business together. So there is nothing. This is why I'm saying, when the state wants to do a public relations, what do they do? They look for the nearest person to kill and slaughter so that they can remain clean. Now they are ashamed of what is going on in uh, Shakahola. But to show the public and everybody else that they are doing work and that they are on top of things, you look for the nearest person who can be a victim. They don't care who you are, whether you are Ezekiel or anybody else. They want a public relations exercise. They want to look like they are doing work. They want to look like they are responsible. But they contradict themselves by doing one thing, bringing up issues of a commission of inquiry to see whether the officers slept on the job and which officers slept on the job. So they contradict themselves. But in the moment, somebody else has been damaged, Pastor Ezekiel. It's a defamation. It's injurious to his reputation. His church is suffering right now. People are not worshipping. These people who are out here in their thousands are out here because they want to see him free. Why? They are thirsting for the word of God. Mackenzie does not feature. Will you be joining uh, your friend Dan Stanomari? Yes, yes, yes. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. If we are called and we are uh, planning that we should be watching brief of the families and the victims, we shall do so. Yes. Thank you. Thank you.